political parties, and specifically SCOPA, the public purse watchdog, want consequences for transgressions. Some opposition parties hope this will start with next week's motion of no confidence in the president. Every member of parliament uh, will have to search within themselves and decide, does the looting continue unchecked or do we act and remove the looter in chief? We are going to do everything in our power to make sure that we get as many ANC MPs to vote with us. Whatever the outcome of the 8th of August will shape the direction of the country either way. Whether the president goes or stays, um, it is going to be um, it's a significant change. We believe the head has to change because the head is taking South Africa in a wrong direction. So you need a U-turn and to be able to do that, we must remove the president. The ANC disagrees with sentiment that ousting the president is a priority. Parliamentary committees are currently engaged with uh, dealing with allegations of state capture. We have the ESCOM inquiry, you have the committee on transport that will start its work, you have the committee on home affairs that already started its work last um, in the last quarter. Meanwhile, the standing committee on public accounts will focus on officials flouting the law. We'll be relentless in our work, there will be no holy cows, all must be held accountable. For the corrupt, what we're calling for as COPA is investigate, charge, and imprison. The committee will have hearings soon with the National Treasury, SASA, SAA, the Department of Water Affairs and Sanitation, as well as the SIU. Lukanyo Kalada, SABC News, Parliament.